Hello, this is Carlos Rojas. I'm a BYU Adam student, and uh, I'm making this video on my computer, so probably the quality is not the best. But I, I, I just want to take some time to do this. Um, on this, on, on the previous week, what I was learning about uh, something spiritual is about spiritual warfare. Um, we know nowadays we're living on a in times with uh, wars, with uh, troubles, problems, like politically and economically, we have different different situations in different places around the world. Um, that is happening on the temporal things. But on the other hand, it's happening on the spiritual things. Like we are having a real war with the enemy. I'm a member of the church and I just want to share that we are fighting against the evil. So we can see many, um, many things around the world that it, it what it is affecting our spiritual well being and our um, our mental health, our inner peace. So what I've learned from the Book of Mormon, there was there's a chapter on Alma uh, forty seven. Uh, and verses 1 to 18 about a man who is trying to um, gain power, but not doing the right things, doing just the wrong things. Like he was just very interested in getting more power, more um, control over the people on, on that time. And he used, he, he used um, the wrong path to do that. And... Um, I compared him with the devil nowadays because he, he he was using some strategies to distract people and to um let to lead people uh in the wrong path and then kill them just to get the power and to get control over them. Um that person was a Malachiah and um nowadays we see that we see that the enemy, the devil, Satan, whatever you want to call it, um, he is working so hard. What I've learned from a uh, general authority from my church, uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, what I've learned from her is that we have a, a line between good and evil. So if we decide in which side of, of this place we want to be. So we have the good um, on one hand, we have the good or good things, the worthy th uh, things, and uh, all things that are very um, good in in God's eyes. But on the other hand, we have the opposite. We have things like I don't know, pornography, um, drugs, and um, some other um, things that can affect us not only physically but spiritually. So. And we have the power to decide in which side we want to be. Um, it is on our control. No one else can do that for us. We are the only ones who can make that decision. So, but we need to be careful. Sometimes we're playing around the, the line or, or the border or on the edge. We cannot do that because Satan is ready to kill us. Um, and we cannot... We cannot play with with sin. So it doesn't matter how many sins or how big the sin is, it's a sin. And we cannot play with that. Um those are the things that I've learned. And the best best way to just be on the right path is to follow Jesus Christ and to do what he did and to um act the way he acted. Um, so it's very important to keep that in mind. We have some resources here in the church um, that help us to uh, be safe. Uh, I love in the scripture from Doctrine and Covenants that, that is uh, like a, a scripture we use in the church, one of the standard books we used here. Um, and in Doctrine and Covenants, it says that stand ye in holy places, in, be not moved. That invitation is very important because 
if we stand in, in holy places, and let's think about this for a second, what holy places we know, like our families, our homes, our churches, our neighborhoods, I don't know, but the invitation from God is to stand ye, to stand in holy places and be not moved. Satan is trying to move us to the other side, to his side, with his servants, doing his things, the wrong things that will lead us to the perdition and to destruction, desperation, and to many, many negative things. So our job is to avoid that. Um, some people think that they can buy peace, joy, and um, I don't know, happiness with money. That's what Satan is trying to, uh, I don't know, inviting us to, to think. We cannot buy happiness, joy, peace. I'm speaking about real peace, real happiness, real joys, real joy, because sometimes a thing or a, a, a stuff can give us some kind of happiness, but it's not true happiness. It's just, uh, I don't know, a simple feeling. True happiness comes by being obedient. True happiness comes by obedient, but be, by being obedient to the law's commandment. So it's very important to keep that in mind. That is true happiness. And that's what the Lord, the Lord wants us to, to have in our lives. He wants us to be successful, not only on the spiritual side, but in every aspect in our lives. Could be on the work, could be on your family, could be on the church, could be with the society. I don't know, but God wants us to be happy. But the devil, he wants the opposite. He wants us to be like him. So I, I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know how many how how many people will be watching this video. This is an activity on my university, but I hope this video can help. If you would like to know more about this, know more about how you can find the real happiness, don't be afraid to leave me a, a, a comment or contact me. I'm, I will be more than grateful to, to help you. So that is uh, all that I, I would like, uh, I wanted to, to share with you. Thank you so much. And I hope this lesson or just this thinking can help you. Um, thank you so much and have a great day and God bless you. Bye-bye.